One. Packaging sells. Hell, it might be more important than the product itself. Take Andy Warhol, for example. According to the description written on the wall of the Nelson Atkins Art Museum, Warhol's television was on 24 hours a day. It goes on to say, as a former illustrator, Warhol was informed on pop culture more than most. He was keenly aware of the marketing strategies that promoted products from Campbell's Soup to Marilyn Monroe. Awkward though, how with enough marketing a person can stop becoming a person and start becoming a product. But not so misogynistic In this painting, the woman has a face And isn't depicted as the remains Of an Adam's apple pie in the Garden of Eden Don't ask me why though Her eyebrows look like the starving wingspan Of a lizard bird retreating Oh hello painting With a really long name and the word lozenge in it You ain't no lozenge You're an oil painting filled with blue squares and red boxes I got a cough I know what a lozenge is there's a statue ahead in the next exhibit. Oh look, she has a cabinet for a head, balanced on a little cathedral steeple instead of a neck. The drawer handles are lead eyeballs, stoic as a cadaver's. The painting is entitled Hi Mom. The critics call it problematic. Three. An artist driven by the darkness within and a heartless narcissist walk into a bar. None of the customers can tell him apart. At first, the artist considers making conversation with the neighbors adjacent, but on second thought, he favors the silence that scolds him and savors his notebook. He jots a couple of couplets in his moleskin. I'ma air quote one of them. I'ma stare at the wall and care about all my terrible thoughts. While this is happening, the heartless narcissist argues with his next ex via text about whether or not they should talk. Consoled by his friends and gassed up, he pops off this message and I air quote, spare me the call, you're just like I like you, barely involved. Subtle, I know. Problem solved, right? Wrong. Both the heartless narcissist and the artist driven by the darkness within are married to the cause of sharing their flaws. One calls it confidence, the other is non-existent, unless, of course, the process of making art offsets the toxic and awkward parts of selling it. Then congratulations, you won, game on. Because to hell with this, say the half-hearted and the grown-ups with day jobs. The cowards never started, and the weak died along the way. That leaves us. Ladies and gentlemen, that leaves us.